Welcome to the Nice Dykas channel. Kalugo, discover now 10 surprising facts. Get ready to be amazed by the incredible world of the Kalugo. In this video, we'll explore 10 surprising facts about these fascinating creatures, from their impressive gliding abilities to their unique tooth comb for grooming. Let's dive in and discover the secrets of the Kalugo. Kalugos, also known as flying lemurs, are fascinating creatures that inhabit the dense rainforests of Southeast Asia. Despite their name, Kalugos are not lemurs and cannot actually fly, but they are expert gliders that can travel up to 200 feet in a single flight. Here are 10 amazing facts about Kalugos, including their gliding abilities, their unique grooming habits, and their role in their ecosystem. 1. Kalugos are not true lemurs. Despite being commonly referred to as the flying lemurs, Kalugos are not actually lemurs. They are instead members of the order Dermoptera, which also includes the extinct species known as the extinct flying lemur. These animals are not closely related to primates like lemurs, but they do share some similarities in their physical appearance, such as their large eyes and elongated limbs. 2. They are expert gliders. One of the most unique and impressive abilities of the Kalugo is its skill at gliding through the forest canopy. The Kalugo has a patagium, a thin, web-like membrane of skin that stretches from its wrists to its ankles, allowing it to glide for up to 200 feet in a single glide. This is one of the longest gliding abilities of any mammal. 3. They have excellent vision. Because Kalugos are primarily nocturnal, they have excellent night vision. Their large, forward-facing eyes allow them to navigate through the dark forest canopy with ease. In addition, their eyes are able to detect both color and motion, making them adept at spotting potential predators or prey. 4. Kalugos are solitary animals. Kalugos are generally solitary animals and do not form social groups. They spend most of their time alone, except during mating season when males will search for females to mate with. 5. Their teeth are shaped like a comb. Kalugos have a unique adaptation in their teeth that allows them to groom themselves effectively. Their incisors are shaped like a comb, with a series of ridges that they use to remove debris and dirt from their fur. This adaptation is believed to have evolved as a way to keep their fur clean and free of parasites. 6. They have a prehensile tail. Like many arboreal animals, Kalugos have a prehensile tail that they use to grip onto branches as they move through the trees. The tail is covered in rough, scaly skin that helps provide traction and allows them to maintain their grip on tree trunks and branches. 7. Kalugos have a slow metabolism. Kalugos have a slow metabolism and low body temperature, which allows them to conserve energy while they are inactive. They are able to enter a state of torpor, where their metabolic rate slows even further, in order to conserve energy during periods of food scarcity. 8. They are important pollinators. Kalugos are not only fascinating creatures, but they also play a vital role in their ecosystem as important pollinators. As they feed on the nectar of flowering trees like durian and mangosteen, they pick up pollen on their fur and spread it to other trees, facilitating the pollination process. This is crucial for the reproduction of many plant species and helps maintain the diversity and health of their forest habitat. Interestingly, Kalugos have a unique relationship with the durian fruit, which is highly prized for its sweet, creamy flesh but is notorious for its strong smell. While many animals avoid durian due to its pungent odor, Kalugos are among the few creatures that actively seek out durian trees to feed on their nectar. As they do so, they inadvertently become important pollinators for the durian fruit, which relies on specific species of bats and other animals for successful pollination. 9. Kalugos are threatened by habitat loss. Like many species in Southeast Asia, Kalugos are threatened by habitat loss due to deforestation and the expansion of human settlements. As their habitat becomes fragmented and destroyed, Kalugo populations are declining, making conservation efforts critical to their survival. 10. They are difficult to study. Despite their unique adaptations and importance in their ecosystem, Kalugos are notoriously difficult to study in the wild. Their nocturnal habits, solitary nature, and high canopy habitat make them challenging to observe and track, which makes conservation efforts even more important in protecting. Kalugos may not be well known to many people, but they play a crucial role in their ecosystem as pollinators and as indicators of the health of their forest habitat. 
As deforestation and habitat loss threaten the survival of Kalugo populations, it becomes increasingly important to study and understand these fascinating creatures in order to protect them. By raising awareness about Kalugos and their unique adaptations, we can help promote conservation efforts and ensure that these amazing animals continue to thrive in their natural habitat. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, leave your like and support our channel Nice Dikas. Subscribe and turn on notifications. Until the next video.